So I thought it'd be interesting. I got these three tape decks sitting here, and two of which are mine, the top and the bottom. I've had them for many years. They, re they I used them a lot throughout the 90s and uh, mid-2000s. The one in the middle I recently received and got working. And I was curious as to how they stacked up or how they compared against each other as far as frequency, uh, frequency response is concerned. So I thought what we'll do is record some pink noise, which is essentially static, that goes all the way from 20 hertz to, I think in this case it'll be about around 24,000 hertz. Then we can play that back and analyze it on a computer and see what it looks like and see where one shines and one does not. Also, I'll be using the same tape for each of these. It's essentially a chrome bias tape. So this tape I'll use in each of them so there would be no variable there. So then we'll put this back in the computer and compare all the frequency response graphs. So here's the input signal recorded right from the iPod directly into the camera. The same uh, frequency or the same noise that will be sent to each of the decks. You'll see it's nice and flat. Also from this point on I'm only going to be worried about about one kilohertz and above because anything below that we're pretty much identical across decks. Here is the, the signal from one kilohertz and above and you'll see the techniques deck starts to drop around 14 and a half kilohertz. The WR661 Sony drops around 18.8 .8 to 19 kilohertz. And the 535 Sony drops around 18, and that's pretty standard for uh, a compact cassette player or recorder. You're really not going to get anything over 18 kilohertz. Now here's what's interesting. If you notice the frequency response sort of drops as the, as the frequency gets higher. And the other deck here it's even more drastic and that's you know fairly normal but check this out the old techniques although it may drop or have a cutoff at 14 and a half kilohertz look how uh, flat that response curve is so I'm thinking with a little bit of work possibly degaussing the head maybe some adjustments inside I'd have to take it apart and take a look at it could probably get this tape deck uh, back up to spec and with the frequency response that it's showing, how flat that is, that's very impressive. And and because that's really what you want is a flat flat response across all frequencies. And like I said before, all the frequencies below one kilohertz were uh, pretty identical across all all the decks. So uh, maybe what they say it is true. The uh, older equipment is better. So it was just a quick video. I was doing this, and I thought I'd film it. If you have any questions? Put them down in the comments. And until uh, next time.